What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more prints. And we're back for the penultimate tune on his 1987 unreleased album, uh, the Black Album. And the title is, you know, you can see it below. Obviously, I'm going to have to abbreviate or, um, you know, sort of block out part of the title. Um, and ultimately, you know, I don't know what to make of this in the sense that, again, he's already had a track on this album where he took a shot not at all rappers, but at, you know, non-musical rappers. Obviously, N.W.A. famously from Compton, and then, you know, to use um, the phrasing of this title makes me wonder, but it references two people, and obviously, you know, the incarnation of N.W.A. is three people, so... Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but my first thought is that it may relate to N.W.A. Either way, um, I am curious whether this will again be in hip-hop form or whether, um, you know, it'll take a more funk type of jam groove and just, you know, the lyrics will be more, um, you know, what to, um, or what's related to Compton and not so much the style. So, either way, I'm curious what's at hand. Let's listen to it. This is Prince. As I said, you can read the track in the title here. Um, or at least an abbreviated version of it, and it's from the 1987 unreleased album, The Black Album. Serve it up, Frankie! <laughs>
first that sounded like a melodic line you'd hear in like G phone that had that one. You're like sampling old funk and hip hop track. And then it like it brought the actual funk. Bit off the rails, I like it. about to finish because it was almost like breaking its own rhythm it was sort of like running off the rails again so uh yeah obviously a more instrumental tune i believe there were some like vocals in there um but by and large an instrumental funk groove again not sure about that title phrase which we heard at the beginning and the end sort of bookended um but i really enjoyed the layering again so dense feels very not only um, experimental, but improvisational. Again, I don't know the degree to which that's true, but it feels like they're sort of like, oh, let's try this configuration. They do that for a couple measures, and then it shifts, and then they sort of like isolate different parts and come back to the full sound. So um, I enjoy the instrumentation and the, you know, the composition, the musicianship of that. So um, a cool tune. Again, not one uh, where I would say the title, uh, but either way, um, it didn't seem like there was anything overtly related to um, NWA. Nevertheless, um, we're one track away uh, from finishing the album. Once again, big shout out to Stan, as well as Chris. I mentioned the plan is to go through a collection of stuff from the 80s that Chris has made available. Then I'm going to go through Purple Rain, like specifically because I found the vinyl in my collection. Then I'm going to go back to a collection of songs um, from different albums that Stan put together. So there's lots more Prince stuff coming, like three stops at least on the like forthcoming uh, Prince journey. So um, thank you to those who've already become part of it. And I noticed in the last couple reactions, it seems like there's more people um, taking an interest. Again, uh, like a couple people commented, it's sort of like a bit unusual to start with this album because it's the one that like didn't get released. I, um, I'm i enjoying going through it though, because and maybe in a way it's like the perfect en entrepot uh, because again, I'll go through more familiar, more like, um, you know, internationally like known and popular material after this, but it's sort of nice to start with something that's completely off the radar. Because again, I mentioned before, I know a few Prince tunes by name, like 1999, um, When Doves Cry, um, what is it, like Red Corvette, 
uh, or Little Red Corvette, something like that. So, bottom line, I know a few tunes, um, but still, the majority of his catalog is completely unknown to me. So it was cool to start with this one. As I said, we have one more tune to go. So from Luca and I, let me know what you think of this one, and we will see you next time. Peace.